In this video, I'm going to cover bot settings. So the first thing I want to look at is the status. As you can see, this bot, I've got it set for sell only, and I can change that at any time. I'll just click on this down arrow, and I can either pause my bot, I can release the buys uh, and pause the sales, or I can terminate the bot. Be very cautious when terminating the bot, because this will sell any outstanding lots that you have held, and uh, they could be sold at a loss. And this bot, once you terminate it, cannot be restarted. You'd have to create a new bot. So let's have a look at pause bot. As you can see, my bot's paused. If I click this and I click start the bot, now my bot's trading. I can pause the buys. And as you can see, it says sell only. I can pause the sales and it says buy only. So I've set it back to sell only. So the next thing I want to do is to come and have a look at the view details. So here at the top of the screen, you see that there's the trading graph and that will mirror what's going on on GDAC. And as you can see here, this is the current price of, at the moment, Bitcoin. And if you look on the tab here, you can see that these two numbers are in sync with one another. So if we come further down the screen, let's have a look at the trade log, which is on the right hand side. And let's just look at this first trade here. This is a, a trade that was opened and closed by the robot, which means that the robot bought some Bitcoin and then when the price was right to give me a profit, the uh, robot sold the Bitcoin. So I was trading with 250 pounds. And as you can see, the robot bought the Bitcoin at this price and then sold it at this, giving me a return on my investment of 1.4%, which was three pounds 50. Now, if I look over on the left hand side of the screen, it says current lots held. And at the moment, these lots were bought at a higher price than what it is today. So I'm waiting for the price to go up. But I can, if I wish, click on these red buttons at any time and sell my Bitcoin at a loss. But I don't want to do that. I have faith that the price is going to go back up. So let's go back to the dashboard. Some people have asked me, what should they do if all of their lots are in the buy position, which means they can't be sold at the moment? Now, there's two things you can do. You can either add more money and increase the lot size. And please watch the video that I made uh, to show you how to do that. Uh, or you can sell one of your lots or many of your lots at a loss to release uh, them funds up. So let's go in and have a look at one of the robots. So I'm going to choose this one down the bottom here. I'm going to view the details. Now, as you can see on the left screen here, I have a, a, a lot that's open. That means that it's been bought. But at the moment, it can't be sold because the price is too high. So what I could do is I could click on this red button which would sell the lot, I would lose 20 pence, but that means that I would release that money so that the robot can buy a new lot. That is entirely up to you whether you decide to do that. Myself, I prefer to wait for the robot to move uh, or I just add another bot. So if I come back to the dashboard, as you can see, I've got all these bots running at the moment. Now let's just say that the Bitcoin price kept on dropping and dropping and dropping and I wanted to uh, get the robot working again. So I could do, as I've just shown you, free up one of the lots by selling it early and, and, make, and take a hit on it. Uh, and then hopefully the bot will pick up that uh, downward trend and I will pick up a profit in the future. Or of course, I can just add a new bot. So I just click on that button there. I'd fill out my API details and create a new bot and put some new money into GDAC so that the bot can start trading. So let's go and have a look at GDAC now. Now, if you're trading for the first time, you must make sure that you hold fiat currency in this top panel here. I'm in the UK, so it's pounds. If you're in the US or somewhere that uses dollars, then obviously it would be dollars. If you're in Europe, then it would be euros. But your bot cannot start trading for the very first time unless it has some fiat currency sitting in here. Now, you're either going to deposit cash directly into uh, GDAC from your bank account or you're going to deposit some cryptocurrency. If you do deposit cryptocurrency, what you're going to need to do is to sell some of that so that it turns into fiat currency, and then you can start your bot trading. So let's head back over to the bot dashboard. Now, the last setting that I'd like to show you is what sits behind this orange button that says edit settings. But before we do that, I want to look at the view details again. So now what I'd like you to do is to look at the current held lots. As you can see, this first lot here was bought on the 6th of March at 10.40. I had a trading pot of £250, and the bot bought the Bitcoin at this price. 
and it's waiting for the price to go up to this before it can sell it. But I'm going to show you how to adjust that price so that the bot can sell it at a lower price and still make a profit. So if we see here, it says £8,041.88. So let's go back to the dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, we're going to click Edit Settings. I'm just going to walk you through this as I go down the screen. At the top here, you can give your bot a name. This is the name of the bot that you're actually trading with because we've got more than one bot. This is the trading investment I have. I've uh, invested a thousand pounds and I've split that into four lots, which is 250 pounds per lot. I would recommend that you don't change this uh, lot size once you've set it and your bot is trading. Minimum earnings, you can change as often as you like. doesn't matter. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. I can slide this up and down to set my return on investment, which is the return on the investment on the trading investment. This minimum earnings is the earnings that I'm going to earn from the £250 uh, lot that I'm trading with. I'm not going to cover the backup bot and I'm not going to cover compounding in this video. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this from £3.12p, which is the minimum earnings I'm asking for, and I'm going to put in there a penny and I'm going to click save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and view the details again. Now what I'd like you to look at is this number has gone down. You see the sell level? Now before it said £8,041.88. Now it says £7,943.55. So that means the bot will wait for Bitcoin to get to that new price. And when it does, it can sell. And it will still make me a profit. Admittedly, it's only a penny. But it means if I do sell this lot and I take a penny, that means I have made a profit and I've not lost anything, but it also means that I can free up the lot so that it can be put back into the system so that the robot can start buying new lots at the, maybe at a lower price. I hope this video helps in giving you an overview of the settings. You have an amazing day. Bye now.